want to weigh in on that. I think insurance companies have to invest a bunch of stuff, don't they, Becky? I mean, it might be better they to get do. a little, uh, might be they better do. to get a little and bit higher. And low yields have higher. been very painful for the insurance companies, for the pension companies, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that's probably. Is she the really news. there with you, honest to God? Anyway. Huh? Yeah. You want to see? You want to see? Take I want to see. <laughs> I'll be Take darn. A shot. I'll be darn. Shot of Warren. There. I'll be darn. And that's He's not here. that's not Tom Cruise with a uh, with one of those masks on, like with the mission. That's really uh, nope. Not like Mission Impossible. Hi, Warren. Thanks for nope, joining us. Don't send me a brick. <laughs> okay, Joe. Don't send me a brick. <laughs> you'll get two. You, yeah. You'll get two of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dick is a brick. We got a special yeah. this week. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching earlier this morning, Joe. He's already mentioned. Oh, he did. <clears throat> he's, so, uh, he's smiling. He's still smiling. He yeah. 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 He, he was watching. He heard everything. Um, uh, folks, that's right. Warren Buffett, the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, is with us this morning. And, and this is on a morning that Berkshire Hathaway has some big news. Two new appointments to the Berkshire Hathaway board. Uh, Greg Abel, uh, who runs Berkshire Hathaway Energy, and Ajit Jain, who runs Berkshire Hathaway Reinsurance. They will now be responsible. They will both be promoted to vice chairman, be named to the board, and will each have their own portfolio to run in the company. Greg Abel, you see there, who is 55 years old, is going to be running all the non-insurance parts of Berkshire Hathaway. And Ajit Jain, pictured here, who is 66 years old, is going to be running all the insurance parts of Berkshire Hathaway. And Warren, we made a little bit of comment about this earlier today. This is the closest that we've ever heard to a succession plan at Berkshire Hathaway. Is that how we should be reading this? Well, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's part of a <clears throat> movement towards succession over time. And, and, and they are the two key figures at Berkshire. They, I mean, this would have made sense five years ago, too. Uh, 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 they're both got Berkshire in their blood. They, they love the company. They know their operations like the back of their hand. Uh, so uh, it's, it's really, it, it's, it's very good for Berkshire and it's even better for me. <laughs> you know, we, we, you mentioned yourself that this could have happened five years oh, ago. Oh, sure. There have been people who have been pushing you to make public your succession plans for quite a bit longer than that, which, which raises the question, why now? Well, it, it, like you say, it probably should have been done a few years ago, but every, everything's been working fine. And uh, on the other hand, there's some value in having both of them in those positions and getting more familiar with the ones they haven't been in con the operations they haven't been in contact with before. And I've got a certain amount of institutional knowledge, and I can tell them the strong points and the weak points and this and that of the various operators. So, so it's it just... It's a transition period that may last a long time, or if something happened to me, it could happen very soon. But uh, uh, there's nothing magic about the time. It, it's, it's kind of interesting, actually. I, I talked to the directors one at a time before we had this meeting last night, and the degree to which they jumped at the suggestion was a little alarming. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting you to go ahead and make this. Oh, yeah, they, 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 there was no, uh, no persuasion needed. <laughs> you just said that this could happen and could last a long time or it could happen more immediately. Should people be concerned about your health? No, I, I, um, I'm, I'm in remarkably good health, particularly considering the life I've led. Uh, you know, everything... Um, Physical gets a little, your balance isn't as good, and your, your endurance may not be quite as good, and all of that. So, so I've slipped in all these various ways, but, but, but uh, I wasn't much to start with. So I, the, <laughs> the, the amount of slippage has been fairly minor just because I started from a low base. Uh, uh, no, I, I feel terrific, and, and uh, I love what I do. Uh, I can't wait to go to the office in the morning. And, and no, there's no, there's been no change in that. And, and incidentally, if there was anything about my health uh, and this has been true since I took over. I would I would tell the shareholders immediately. I, I'm not reluctant to to talk about my health. But, uh, as, uh, in fact, I think you have a duty to do that when you're CEO. So, how will this change operations at Berkshire? You will now have three vice chairmen: Charlie Munger, Ajit Jain, and Greg Abel. Yeah. What, what does that mean? Well, it means nothing in terms of physical change. I mean, Ajit lives and in, 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 uh, uh, he lives in New York, works in Connecticut, and also in New York City. Yeah. And Greg lives in Des Moines, and uh, they won't change anything. There's no uh, no change in our office. Um, CFO is in Omaha, and, and there won't be a change in one person in in in, in, in Omaha, or really any place else, except somebody will move up to the head of uh, Berkshire Hathaway Energy. 
I, I guess the question becomes, if this is the succession planning kind of opened up, does this mean that they would both be running Berkshire Hathaway at some point, somehow, so, sort of the way you have your investment uh, potential set up with Todd uh, and, and Ted, Todd Combs and Ted Wechsler, each running two things and kind of operating together? Is that how we should anticipate succession planning at Berkshire Hathaway would work <clears> for the CEO? No, when, I, when I'm not... <clears throat> When I'm not CEO, there'll be another CEO, and, and uh, there, there will be a CEO, and uh, uh, how that CEO will organize things will be up to, to him in this case, and, and uh, uh, that will, uh, he'll figure out the best way to do it, and, and uh, uh, it won't change very much. It'll change a little, but it won't change very much. Do you know which of these two would be the CEO if this were to happen overnight? <clears throat> well, you never, you, you never know, but our directors know what they would do tomorrow morning if it happened, but they don't know what they would do four years from now, we'll say, if it happened then. I, I guess that raises the question, does this raise uh, a little bit of a horse jockeying competition? There's, there's no horse race at all, they, yeah. these two fellows. They know, they know each other well, they like each other well, they both have their areas of specialty. I mean, uh, Greg would not want to be running insurance, and, and Ajit would not want to be running the other operations. They are extremely good at what they do. But those are two pretty different businesses. Uh, and they're, they're roughly equal businesses. There's more, uh, there are more people on one side, but, but the insurance business generates over $100 billion afloat, in addition to having well over $100 billion in, invested in it in terms of net worth. So there's, uh, there's more or less parity of <clears throat> earning power and importance. And that's what I was going to ask you about, because we've been looking at some of the measures this morning just from analyst notes on some of these things. If you look at 2016 profit and break it down, the insurance company represents about a quarter of yeah. the business, at least for the profits for that year. And obviously, insurance profits can swing and uh, pretty rapidly. But you look at it a little differently. Yeah. And if, if we have $100 billion plus of float, uh, that means those interest and dividends and a fair amount of capital gains over time come from the insurance operation. Uh, so uh, they're really of pretty equal importance. And I'm not sure if we were to sell one side or the other, which one would uh, bring more money. They, they, they both are enormously important to Berkshire. It, it, the key is, it, it's kind of the secret behind Berkshire Hathaway from all these years, the insurance company creating the float that then you can turn around and invest, either in purchasing other businesses or in purchasing securities and bringing them in. Um, how, how does that work when it's not the same person who's kind of responsible for overseeing all of that? They, they would have to be people who would work well together. The, well, they, they certainly <clears throat> have to understand each other's operation. And, but I invest the capital, and mm -hmm. Charlie does it with me. But... Uh, uh, in our insurance operations, Tony Nicely at Geico, he doesn't think for five seconds about how the money's getting invested. And, and, uh, and actually the same way with the Jeep. Uh, uh, their job is to uh, develop good insurance business, create more flow over time, and then my job is to invest it. And uh, they, uh, uh, it, it, there's really three functions in the business. There's two different types of operations, and then there's the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, why didn't you do this years ago? What, 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 what was the reasoning behind that? Uh, probably a lethargy bordering on sloth or something of the sort. <laughs> I, there wasn't a reason to do it particularly. There's, you can say there isn't a reason today, but it, it will be valuable to anybody that succeeds me to have had, had more experience in the overall management of a large area. And, and uh, we have so many different both insurance operations, we have a lot of different ones in insurance, we have even more than the other operations. And just in terms of the, uh, uh, the history of which, which managers really don't need any help whatsoever, and which ones, if they're doing bold on acquisitions, may need more uh, input than others. And there's a lot of different individuals running our different businesses, and, and they have different strengths and weaknesses. And, and uh, over time, on both the insurance side and the uh, uh, non-insurance side, uh, each of those fellows will pick up. They'll know a lot more a year from now than they know now. And they will have those businesses reporting through to them. To them. And they'll decide the compensation of the people underneath. And I mean, certain people we have compensation arrangements with that we uh, will have enforced for their lifetimes because they, they, 
that we made them at the time of acquisition. But, but uh, aside from the ones that are fixed, th those decisions will be theirs. And, and smaller bolt-on acquisitions will probably be theirs. If there's a large bolt-on acquisition, uh, Ch Charlie and I will get involved. You will get involved in making the acquisition, but I would assume that any future acquisitions would report through, those divisions would report through to one of these two gentlemen. That's correct. Would, would, will that make it more difficult for you to make acquisitions? Because one of the big uh, lures in the past has been being able to report to Warren Buffett. Yeah, well, well it isn't that I disappear. I, I will tell all these fellows and, and women to, to send me the statistical information they get. It's like, you know, looking at baseball scores or something <laughs> from my standpoint. So I'll, I'll keep getting the information, but I will not, I will not be setting the pay. I, will, I mean, they will be working for the, either Ajit or, 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 or Craig. Uh, but, but I'll be as interested as ever. You know, there's, there's not a drop of Berkshire blood that's leaving my body. <laughs> <laughs> um, 